What is going on everyone? Today we are going through how exactly Ashes of Creation's ambitious 64 class system works, along with what you need to know when taking your newfound skills into combat. Picking a class is the most important choice you make in any MMO, and in Ashes it is no different. It defines your entire experience of the game and how you choose to play whether that be solo or taking on large raids in a group. And at the start of your journey into Vera, there will be 8 different base classes to choose from. The Fighter an expert in physical combat, a master of many weapons, and a warrior that strikes fear into its foes. It is said that the fighter will include maneuverability abilities to close the gap so you can quickly traverse distances on the battlefield. The Tank A class that controls the fight, helping the party mitigate incoming damage. They can take on large amounts of damage and aggro those whom are ignoring it. The Rogue a master of opportunity using skills, positioning, and the environment to dish out large amounts of damage. The Ranger. A master of the bow and ranged combat, a class with a keen eye in natural environments who tends to stand towards the edge of the battle dishing out damage with his arrows. The Mage. A master of the arcane, they bring the elements to bear devastating spells, with the ability to take on various elements which may have a changing effect depending on the season you are in. The Summoner A class with the ability to summon creatures such as animals, spirits, and undead creatures to bring to any type of fight. The Cleric those whom are the masters of life itself, they have the ability to sense the broken and corrupted and bring a lot of tools to the table to keep your parties afloat. These guys are the healers of the game. The Bard A bard is a support role in parties intended to amplify a party or raid's abilities to perform within their own class. Whether that be damage, defense, healing, or movement, they will be there to buff your parties, but buffing parties will also relate to how the class performs itself. Looking at the 8 of these classes, they might all sound pretty generic from the start. You're probably thinking, Richie, why did you say this is an ambitious system? Well, that is because at a point in your progression, you will be able to take on a secondary class, combining one of these eight to what you initially chose in the beginning. So make that choice count, because what starts out as a basic ranger when you jump into the world can drastically change into feeling like a completely different character when you choose your secondary class. And you can see in this image the name of all 64 classes that will be available due to this system. You are also not locked into your secondary class. Although you will never be able to change your primary class on that character, the second one can be changed, likely by speaking to an NPC at a node to change it up. So if you are tired of the role you play and want to try out something new, you have that option. When jumping into a 40 man raid or any dungeon or anything like that, there are the roles that you have come to expect. tanks healers, and damage. Ashes is sticking with what works in this regard, so you know exactly what you need when you jump into those fights. Once you have your class figured out, it will be time to jump into combat. Ashes of Creation has what they are calling a hybrid combat system, a combination of what is known as tab targeting combat in games like World of Warcraft that also features abilities from action combat like in New World requiring you to manually aim these abilities, and you have most of the control to play how you want. You can choose up to 75% of skills from one system, and then the remaining 25 would be the other system. So if you wanted to play mostly action combat, the 75% of the abilities on your action bars would be the action combat abilities, and the remaining 25% would be the tab targeting abilities, giving you more freedom to change up how you want to play your character. In the final rendition, there is said to be a toggle allowing players to switch between action combat mode and tab targeting mode. Action assumably giving you a bit more of a close up to your character like in Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. These skills, like all MMOs, will be placed on your action bar, although there hasn't been a set number determined yet on how many active skills you can have at a time, it is said to be less than 30. 
you will have the ability to place the skills you want on your action bars, making each player even more different. As the ranger in front of you could play completely different than you currently are because they have a different set of skills on their action bar. Skills will not be acquired through leveling, you will have to choose which skills that you take on as a player, and there will be a full variety of types of skills to choose from depending on what class you choose, such as crowd control allowing you to control enemies on the field, mobility abilities allowing you to traverse in different ways in and out of combat such as a blink ability which would teleport you forward, spell interrupts which obviously will interrupt spell casting of players or perform knockbacks to slow them down, and a whole lot more to choose from. What are your guys thoughts on on class creation and combat in Ashes of Creation. Let me know in the comments below, and if you are one of the many who are new to Ashes of Creation and want to create an account on the Ashes website where you can jump into the forums or purchase cosmetic packages, well, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.